There are people in crypto that are very, very smart people who do love our country, and they think it's uh, they think it's good. Who knows? Maybe we'll pay off our thirty-five trillion dollars, hand them a little crypto check, right? We'll hand them a little Bitcoin. And that banking officer is going to get a click OK to continue on your life, on your ability to transact, on your ability to trade. Uh, it's not just going to be Bitcoin. It's going to be Visa. It's going to be MasterCard. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be PayPal, right? So whether you're subscribing to an OnlyFans account or something like that. What the fuck? Okay, so starting with fear and greed, we can see here it's back up to a 29, little bit of a recovery in the sentiment for the market, but still overall, everybody's pretty scared. Okay, if we are looking at the general market, we are seeing a mixed bag here, where uh, normally, obviously guys, it is either red or green, uh, but we are seeing a bit more green from these recoveries yesterday, uh, but some of these already bouncing towards the downside or falling off a cliff a little bit more here. Nothing crazy, just like one digit moves here across the board, uh, if you're not including Dog With Hat, which is absolutely banging it. But uh, besides that, let's move on to ETFs. ETFs right now, Bitcoin, uh, did have have a third consecutive day of triple digit outflows that is not good okay so institutions obviously a little bit scared right now because they uh they're not used to these portfolios dumping double digits right <laughs> so they're probably pulling out uh, across the board there but uh this is probably temporary right uh, and i think a lot of these guys will be kicking themselves uh, when it comes to stuff like this uh, we are seeing this is the, the first day where all of the etfs are either red or zero okay uh, even yesterday and the day before we did have some inflows on some some of these right but as of t as of yesterday are pretty much zero and red across the board which is not great for bitcoin long term okay if we are looking at the ethereum spot etfs completely different story everyone is banging it in for some reason how is ethereum better than bitcoin here how are people going yeah that's gonna be the asset where my money's safe just terrible ter what are these guys thinking <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, but yeah, a pretty bullish for Ethereum nonetheless. If we are looking at dynamic range, a little bit of a new one here, but this calculates essentially on-chain transactions to market cap, okay, a ratio. And uh, this, this pretty accurately predicts whether Bitcoin is overbought or oversold. And we can see right now under the green line means it is oversold, which is a, a fantastic sign here for Bitcoin, uh, which essentially means that, yeah, we could potentially get a recovery fairly soon. And we are just expecting that momentum to turn around anyway, right? When it comes to annual electricity consumption, right? So this is the money being spent on mining Bitcoin from the miners. This is directly correlated with Bitcoin tops, as you can see here, right? Our most recent top. Okay, and then we've got this one here, which is um, the attempt at the top after our bull run collapse last time in the last cycle. And then you can see every single cycle before that. So uh, yeah, directly correlated, currently not looking fantastic as you can see, right? Uh, so uh, yeah, watch out for a little bit more downside here. But as soon as this does start pointing up towards the upside, then uh, it looks fantastic for Bitcoin and we will see uh, a bit more a bit more pumper rumpers coming through. If we're looking at liquidation heat map here, we can see, yeah, it does look pretty bad in terms of what Bitcoin's done, all right? But um, yeah, this is the three month. So uh, yeah, if we go to the three day here, we can see, uh, yeah, we do have quite a lot of liquidation stores the downside that, that these market makers will likely target. So uh, we will be eyeing this up for potential shorts today. Uh, if not, if we do want to break this high, then uh, there is a potential long, okay? Uh, if you are looking for daily trade setups here, it's completely free on my Patreon. You just press follow, no payment required, and then I give you a little two minute video uh, on what's going on every single day. All right, it's time for some market structure to begin this, and then I will jump into my trades. What we are looking for right here, right now, is uh, some continuation towards the upside. It's, it's looking pretty good so far, right? And the reason for that is because we closed yesterday's daily candle above this uh, this resistance line, which will now become support. We have already retested this as well today uh, after the open this morning, so that's fantastic. Uh, what we will say here is uh, we are not out of the woods yet, as every crypto influencer says, right? We're not out of the woods yet. Uh, what we will say is uh, typically we like to retest these uh, volume-weighted ATR bands here on the right uh, once we've reclaimed them. So as we can see here with the 15-minute, we didn't retest this on an hourly, okay? 
okay so we actually uh, we we came down we tried to reclaim it but we got rejected off that 7 SMA and what you really want is to reclaim both of these bad boys the 7 SMA and the volume weighted ATR band on the 15 minute and then you want to come down and then have a little bit of a bump and run right uh, this has not happened here so this is actually a looming area a looming area of magnetism for Bitcoin that could bring us down to 53k again so just be careful there all right uh, and then we had a similar scenario here on the hourly volume weighted ATR band here uh, and that typically guys that typically has been retested okay I don't know why it's typically but it has been retested uh, and it has had a bit of a bump and run on that one so uh, yes we can come down there but it's uh, it's less likely because we have already retested it uh, and now if we are looking at this four hour one as well, we can see that we have got over it. If you want to call this a retest or just a kind of a oscillation, it's up for debate. I would say it's still very, very possible we come down typically uh, because we haven't retested the 15 minute either. So what we will say with this one is it's quite likely that we do have another little wave down here today. But uh, if we do break this high at any point here, we will be into that next zone, right? Into that next kind of uh, area uh, in which we can, uh, we can kind of oscillate in there right? So uh, that's really what I'm looking at right now. In terms of trades, guys, I did just put out a free update on the Patreon and uh, those trades are essentially this, right? So we've got, uh, we've got 57.4 here and uh, we're looking for a short down uh, to essentially, uh, we, we're not going to go that low. We're probably going to go down to this candle body here on the hourly uh, and that is for a 1.5% one, one trade here. So a pretty decent, okay, nothing crazy, but uh, yeah, just quick little scalps that we're looking for today, uh, just taking advantage of the volatility. And as we said previously, guys, uh, with the daily, if we can come and make a higher low at any point, we'll be watching that higher low for a trend line and then be looking to ride off that trend line. But also, uh, on, on a different kind of account and a different uh, strategy, we'll be looking to set up a grid bot as well. I didn't make that very clear yesterday uh, in, in the video and it was a little bit contradictory. So I wanted to make that clear. On one account, we'll be doing a strategy where we'll be grid botting, okay? Uh, and then on another account, we will be looking to ride up this trend line uh, to essentially make money uh, on a potential V-shaped recovery, right? If we lose that trend line at any point, we probably flip short and then, uh, and then ride it down to the bottom, okay? So that's... That's pretty much the plan here in terms of macro, in terms of the next few weeks. Uh, and if we are looking to get over this area at 58.5, which um, I have said this before, but but if we do just get rid of everything, I like to have my charts pretty busy. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, I know it's not very good for videos, right? Uh, so what we will look here, we'll look for here is to fill the CME gap, right? If we can fill the CME gap, that'd be fantastic. We also have a downward sloping trend line here. I believe this works better on a four hour here. Yeah, I drew this on the four hour, as you can see here. So uh, what we're really looking for here is to get to about 58.5. If we can do that today, it's looking fantastic, but we should be expecting a downwards wave after that. So really, if we don't get this downwards wave today. Uh, I am expecting to hit this trend line at some point uh, and tap on 58.5, fill that CME gap uh, and then go from there. Um, if we do head down today, then we're still going to have that looming CME gap, which will just justify even more a buy uh, in these kind of low 50 areas, right? Or even low 40s, depending on how far down we go, right? Uh, so that's really what I'm looking for here. Yeah, so 46 is really that structural line that we talked about yesterday. Okay, so uh, that's the area I don't expect us to go below. If we do go below there, I do think it's pretty bad for Bitcoin and we enter a bit of a mini bear market until like December, okay? Or maybe even January, February. But I am expecting this to hold more than anything and I will be grid botting that on one account just just because of that, right? It's just, it's pretty decent data. Typically, we do look uh, at those on the longer term, right? You can see this pretty much every big run we've had. We do have these structural lines. And as long as these structural lines hold, we should be expecting the bull market to continue, okay? And that's what we're looking for here. Okay, uh, so if this does want to continue, fantastic. Uh, if it doesn't, then we will just adjust our strategies and then play the range in this side area, right? So good stuff there. Uh, what are we on in terms of time here on this thing? Five minutes, okay. Uh, what we will say here is, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you could subscribe to the channel, if you found this, um, this value from this, then uh, feel free, feel free. It's uh, it's free anyway, so I, I will update you every weekday on this stuff and what I'm looking for. And if you do the get, if you do get the value from that, then be sure to do that, right? Uh, but besides that. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, these are the trades we're looking for on the short term. Uh, the trades we're looking for on the long term. I did just explain the grid bot. Uh, and then if we uh, can kind of get 
get to that um get to this area right get to this uh 58.5 fill the cme gap then uh, there might be a trade in that area uh, but there'll also be um some kind of structural line here if we do hit this then uh, there will be a pretty decent shorting opportunity to try and get to that higher low right uh, so uh, yeah there'll be another trade there if this does want to completely v-shape the area we're really looking at here is 61k if we can get above 61k here guys uh, then i do think that's a, a plausible kind of plausible criteria that we are recovering and we are saved and uh, yeah we should be expecting to go up from that point just generally on a general synopsis a general synopsis all right uh, if we are looking at the bull market barrier if we're above the bull market barrier typically we're in a bull market okay I'll just show you a couple cycles here to kind of prove that all right we are currently below that bull market barrier so not looking fantastic not looking fantastic which is why I think we get this kind of extended uh, kind of sideways oscillation here uh, before actually going through uh, and, and banging it from that point which actually does make a bit of sense here uh, when we do look at uh, this right if we do look at this uh, I wouldn't put the bull market barrier in, in too much conjunction there but uh, with with this one we actually had a massive run up to the bull market barrier right and then a crash down and then we kind of oscillated like we're, we're expecting to do now and then we went on the big run right uh, if we're looking at this one that didn't really happen right we had our dump down we didn't come up here uh, and then we didn't oscillate uh, and it, it should have been a little bit more like um like this if, if the cycle was going to be um, exactly the same it should have been a bit more like this so uh, yeah it's been a, a bit different we've been in a bit more newfound territory here with this ETF just bringing in a lot of money to Bitcoin so uh, maybe we are going to get that little bit of oscillation before going parabolic here because yes we broke the all-time high here but it wasn't really anything crazy right typically when we do break the all-time high we love to just absolutely bang it okay we really really do we had that when we had when we hit 20k okay uh, we we love to absolutely bang it when we break that all time high as you can see here right that didn't happen this time so maybe we are kind of due to that sideways oscillation a little bit more uh, before actually breaking over maybe this bull market barrier has been affected by this price action making it i wouldn't say less reliable because there was actually money made because we got over it of course but uh yeah maybe it should have been a little bit more uh, linear uh, in this kind of descent in which uh in which we should have been oscillating here and then bang it from that point and this does line up this this i would say theory it's nothing crazy it's just me speaking my mind right but uh this would align better in terms of structure uh, in terms of time periods as well um and in terms of adoption for Bitcoin. So uh, that's really what I'm expecting more than anything here. Because we've lost the bull market barrier, because we've lost initial structure, as long as we maintain this structure, I am just expecting this to happen. Okay, and then once we do break over this trend line here, uh, then we can expect that parabolic run to the multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars for Bitcoin. Okay, fantastic stuff. Uh, that's going to be it from me. Be sure to check out Prime XBT, the trading contest, the weekly free trading contest where they give you a virtual balance and you can win 500 bucks for first 350 for second and 150 for third if i remember correctly uh very very easy to win as well if you want to sign up for that it's completely free just sign up use the link in the description of course of course in case you do trade in there <laughs> and then uh, enter the trading contest and then yeah you're good to go i think it's about half full there's a max 2,000 people to enter right so it's half full right now it does fill up quickly be sure to get involved otherwise you can always just wait till next week right it starts pretty much every uh, what are we on wednesday yeah it starts pretty much every wednesday um for for you guys uh, to to start your trading journey for free right so be sure to check that out uh, in the description um yes they are sponsoring the channel but also this is something i've not found in any other exchange i think it's a really really useful tool uh, when i started trading if there was something like this around uh, i would have been fantastically happy with that right uh, so uh yeah if you do want to kick that off and you're a little bit strapped for cash be sure right you you can trade on that and it's pretty easy to win because most people don't hit the 50 trade minimum per week so uh you can easily easily hit the top three uh, on that thing right i'll see you guys in the next video have a fantastic one and um yeah thank you if you like the video leave a comment with the secret code and you'll be entered into the monthly giveaway unfortunately chester is traveling right now and he's doing the giveaways uh, so uh what we will do is uh do that in uh, a certain period of time within the next month uh, and then yeah everyone that's commented will have an entry into that all right so feel free to do that and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace goodbye